everybody, I'm Dan from Deckard Films, and welcome to the start of another franchise. Another year of Madden, which means another team, and this year I'm picking the Los Angeles Rams. And yeah, I already did the uh, reveal trailer sort of for it, but uh, the reason I'm picking the Rams is just because, frankly, they're bad. They're not a good team. Uh, I did New York last year, do the other big city in the U.S. this year. I know there's a lot of big cities in the U.S., but this is like the other main one. And, um... Yeah, the guy that's going to be taking over the Rams as the owner is going to be Arnold Schwarzenegger, former governor of California, is going to step in here by the Rams and try to lead them to a direction that he wants. So that is how that is going to go. That's going to be the storyline to set this up to break the fourth wall very quickly. And uh, yeah, here we go. As you can hear the guy in the background, he's talking over me, but let's get right into this. So... To start off with the roster, our number one position on any team, actually, is going to be the quarterback position. In there, we have second-year quarterback Jared Goff. He was drafted first overall in the draft a couple years back. And, again, to be frank, he was a disappointment last season. I think he started nine or uh, seven games last year, and he lost every single one of them. He had five touchdowns, seven interceptions. He simply was not good. This year... I need him to step up with new uh, head coach Sean McVay. I'm hoping that McVay can turn him into like a Kirk Cousins. And I'm going to put in a system where it's like a three strike system. So he has he has three opportunities to not fail. So if, if he does terrible one game, that's strike one. Terrible another game, that's strike two. Uh, terrible a final game, that's strike three. He's out. That's simply how it's going to be. He's going to be benched for the rest of the season. I hope it doesn't get to that, and it probably won't, considering the weapons that he has. And speaking of those weapons, as you can see on your screen right now, you got guys like Sammy Watkins, uh, Tavon Austin, Cooper Cup. Uh, Robert Woods isn't even listed there, but then he also has a nice run game with Todd Gurley, so he definitely has the weapons to get the job done. And uh, yeah, Todd Gurley, to speak of him again, uh, he was fantastic his rookie season two years ago. Last year, again, a bit of a disappointment. Uh, he kept looking for that big run, and they didn't have the offensive line to block for him to always look for that big run. So he just gets swarmed in the backfield. He stood no chance. I need the offensive line to block for him this year. And, uh, yeah, I'm expecting big things from Todd Gurley. He's going to be the heart and soul. He's going to be the, the workhorse of this offense. And uh, speaking of the offensive line, as you can take a look right here, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I know a lot of you don't really care about the offensive line, but I do consider the offensive uh, line a major part of the football team. I think every position is a major part. And uh, with the signs of, like, uh, Andrew Whitworth, uh, I think he's going to be pretty good. Uh, a pass blocker. He didn't let up a single sack last year, so I'm hoping he can fill in that left tackle role nicely, replacing Greg Robinson, who was an absolute failure there. He's uh, finally out. And then uh, uh, the rest of the offensive line, it's it's okay, but it, we can definitely, definitely improve uh, the rest of the offensive line. A lot of these guys are here for just uh, two or three years, or sorry, not two, what am I talking about? They're here for one or two years, so we can eventually just get rid of them if they're bad. Um, so yeah, we'll look for the replacements now, hopefully draft an offensive line, build up the offensive line, I don't know, but uh, that's that. And now here on the defensive side of the football, we have the best player in the NFL, according to Pro Football Focus last year, Aaron Donald. He is a monster, absolute monster. I'm expecting big things from Aaron Donald. Uh, in real life, he's having some contract problems, but hopefully here I can sign him to like a, a seven-year deal and just get it over with. He deserves every single cent of like a $200 million contract. This man is a, he, he's a ball player. He knows how to get the job done, and I'm really, really excited to have Aaron Donald. He's probably the best defensive player uh, that I've ever had in a franchise. Better than uh, Damon Harrison, Jason Pierre-Paul, Olivier Vernon, all those guys last year and any year that I uh, had before that, any good offensive lineman, or sorry, defensive lineman, this this guy's the real deal. Then at nose tackle, I mean, a pretty solid player here, Michael Brockers. He's not bad. He's no pushover. He's a pretty solid player. I like Michael Brockers. Hopefully he can plug up the middle. And then, of course, there's Ethan Westbrooks, who is going to be replacing uh, Dominic Easley, who went down with a season injury, uh, season-ending injury. And I'm hoping Westbrooks can fill that role nicely. And as we move on to linebacker right here, you can see Alec Ogletree. I really, I like Alec Ogletree a lot, but if for some reason in this game, he's not rated high at all. And I, I just feel like they're robbing him in this game. I don't know, but hopefully he can be good. Of course, there is converted linebacker Mark Bear in there too. Uh, hopefully him and uh, Ogletree can plug up the middle. And then coming off the outsides are two 
Uh, pretty solid pass rushes. One's a little bit old. One's been a little bit shaky throughout his career. It's Robert Quinn and Connor Barwin. I'm hoping both of them can come off the edge and get a lot of pressure on the quarterback, especially uh, Robert Quinn, who is a you know primary pass rusher. Connor Barwin sort of stops the run, too. So I'm expecting a lot of things from our linebacking core as well. And then finally, in the secondary, this is where we're a little weaker, but we're not terrible. Uh, not terrible at all. Uh, Tremaine Johnson, he's, uh, of course, on the franchise tag. We're going to have trouble signing him at the end of the year. He's another player that's contract is expiring. Um, Kayvon Webster on the other side, uh, I don't know how I feel about him. You know, he's, he, he was like fourth string at Denver, so I don't know how he can fit on this team here. And then in the slot, we have, uh, Nickel Roby Coleman. I'm, I can never say this guy's name. N Nicole, N Nickel Roby Coleman, I'm not sure, but, um, I'll find out eventually, probably after this video. But I think he's a pretty solid corner, uh, in, to be in the, the, the slot corner. So, um, yeah, the, the nickel corner. That, that's, that's literally his name. He was made for this position. And then it's safety. I think uh, we're, we're pretty solid at safety. I like LaMarcus Joyner. He's a nice uh, playmaking free safety. I'm not quite sure about his range. I'm not too knowledgeable on that. Uh, hopefully he's fast and has good zone coverage. That's pretty, what you, pretty much what you need to be a uh, free safety. And then we have Big Mo Alexander. Hopefully he can come in and help uh, the, the run-stopping defense and uh, just be a big playmaker all around, make some fumbles that happen. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this uh, team uh, roster reveal, pretty much, this overview going into Season 1. But that is not the end of the episode. Let's take a look at our standings, our division, really quickly. We are in the NFC West. We have to deal with the Arizona Cardinals, who are declining a little bit, but they're still not bad. The 49ers, yes, they are bad. They're trying to rebuild with us with Kyle Shanahan, their new head coach. Of course, we have a new uh, head coach, uh, like previously mentioned, Sean McVay. And then it's Pete Carroll in the Seattle Seahawks defense and Russell Wilson and all that. They're going to be tough. So we have a pretty tough division here. And now let's take a look at the team schedule. So week number one, we are versus the Colts. Uh, week two versus the Redskins. Week three at the 49ers. Week four at the Cowboys. Week five versus the Seahawks. Week six at the Jaguars. Week uh, seven versus the Cardinals. Week eight is going to be our bye week. Week nine is at the Giants. Week 10 is versus the Texans. Week 11 is at the Saints, or sorry, at the Vikings. Week 12 is versus the Saints. Uh, week 13 at the Cardinals. Week 14 versus the Eagles. Week 15 at the Seahawks. Week 16 at the Titans. And finally, week 17 versus the 49ers. So I think I saw a chart or something that said that the Rams have the third hardest schedule in the entire league, which is not good. Oh, and speed. Okay. I, like Dominic easily. Yes. He's out with an injury for the rest of the season. So we're going to put him on the IR. So he doesn't count against our 53 man roster, just like Matt Bradley Marquez, but Marquez is definitely not as uh, valuable as easily. Easily is a big loss for us. I really like Dominic easily and he's not going to be with us this season. We're also going to uh, move, uh, Mike Thomas, the wide receiver, to our practice squad. We're going to cut our long snapper, Jake McQuaid, because I think a center can do what a long snapper does. Uh, all they have to do is just snap a little bit longer. Uh, Blake Countess, we are going to move him to corner. And the uh, same thing with Marquis Christian, because we, uh, we need to fill up that corner uh, spot. Uh, Cody Davis, we are going to move him from strong safety to free safety. And these are the only edits that I did on these players. I did not make them better or anything like that. I want this to keep this realistic as humanly possible. And I just want to fill out the roster a little bit because it's annoying to have like 19 centers and zero left guards. So that's why I'm moving players around right here, just the position. We're going to release Troy Hill. He's just not good enough. And I looked in uh, free agency for a running back with speed and hands as our third down back because we did release Lance Dunbar just a couple weeks ago before I started this franchise. We're going to pick up George Farmer and that as a backup left tackle to back up Andrew Whitworth. We're going to sign Zach Stirrup, who seemed to have the best combination of strength and everything like that. And that's actually going to be the end of this episode, guys. Um, tell me your thoughts. I'm excited to start this, and I'm just excited. Well, a new head coach, new offense. Hopefully, Jared Goff can get going. Former first-round pick. Let's go. Todd Gurley. Awesome freaking defense led by Aaron Donald. I'm getting fired up right now. Let's go. Commerce, describe me. Ready to go to school. Dan Carr Films out. First episode, or first, sorry, first game will be Friday. So... Smash that like button, as they say. <laughs> I love